Cleared the floor of hostiles and goodies. As you venture deeper into the asylum, you see that the inside is every bit as bad as the outside. Gone is any attempt to uphold sanitary hospital aesthetics. With peeling paint, cracked floors, and exposed conduit, the pre pretense of mental care is shattered. In this modern era, Mercy Mental Hospital is a throwback to the barbaric asylums of old. Prisons and torture chambers rather than places of healing. It's clear that Dr. Holmes is spending his money on something other than this facility. You continue on. Holmes can only run so far. Really, all you have to do is run to a car, and then I can't really do much about that. It's alright, real quick. What is this button behind me? Oh, I see. Well, we got hospital security right here. Violent patient. I'd rather not kill him if I don't have to, but I don't think I have a non-lethal option here. Ah! Jesse and her shotgun. Putting in work. He doesn't have a grenade, does he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, I earned that. I don't want to shoot the patient, but I don't really have an alternative, unfortunately. I'm going to do this and give her some extra, extra shots, because she's the one who put in the damage. With haste, you get more AP and thus more damage. And that brought you for your healing abilities. Let's just... Look the idea that the heal can only heal damage from the most recent attack. That way you can't just spam it to get back to full health. Can I knock it in there? Is that not an option? Apparently not. The intercom begins speaking as soon as you approach. Holmes must be watching from somewhere. You don't understand, do you? This is the place for broken things, but only by further breaking them can they be can they be remade. And so we must break you. You know, I don't think you're gonna have much luck with that, buddy, but you're welcome to try. Oh, she's got three AP. Didn't even realize. Oh, we got company right right, right behind us. Damn. Shotgun is a beast. And we'll just overwatch them. I'm pretty sure they're coming from there. You can't... Oh, you can heal. Yeah, okay. Um, get me first. And you're going to have to wait for the next turn. You do it to anybody else. Might as well just come right out and see who's available. On stable mental patients. Of course, why not? I'm just gonna see who comes running at me. And in the meantime, we still have one more turn before we can uh, heal Shannon over here. Who gave the mental patient a grenade? No, you answer me, game. Did he seriously give mental patients grenades just knowing this was gonna happen? It's fucked up.
pretty pissed off about that actually. Line of sight blocked. We'll just have to just wait for them to move. Meanwhile, at least you took the most damage. No, you took the most damage. Eh, take the shot anyway. Didn't think so. Thank you, Overwatch. Automatic reload, very nice. Shannon can still summon a garbage spirit apparently called Apocalypse. Fuck. That's fucked up. We'll just come right around and shoot her in the back. Still need one to heal. I want to send my healer off by himself, so we'll bring our cavalry back out. Can I bring the garbage spirit with me? Is that an option? Uh, Shannon could use some healing. Can I dismiss him? I don't think he's gonna last long enough for me to get to a new area. I'll take the lead. Shannon will back me up. Jesse can reload and bring up the rear. And Alex. Eh, go right ahead, take point. Ooh. That was close. Oh hey, company's coming. I'll just trot over here. Shoot the first dude. Shannon can come over here. Shoot the other dude. You got a grenade on you, right? Somehow not enough, unfortunately, but... Have to kill that guy. Very reliable power bolts. I still feel bad about shooting the mental patients, but they're not giving me a choice here. Smell of rotting flesh is immense. It appears to be from multiple metahumans. Gross. Surgical car contains a gate key. Let me just chill here for a second. Can I take the gate key? Yep. There's an unlabeled trivid disc in the second drawer. That may come in handy later. I'm pretty sure the gate we're looking for is over here, so. Let's all start heading back. I get that we have to be in turn-based mode because this whole place is a, is a hostile environment, but even so, it can be, get a little bit monotonous. Oh yeah, and you still have that heal on you. You have to be in line of sight, I guess. I don't think anybody else is currently wounded. Just me. But still, the constant heals are going to keep us from having to use our healing items later, which is definitely worth it. From another intercom, Dr. Holmes continues. Someone once told me that I was a broken thing, but he also said I could remake myself. He wanted to break me down so I could put myself back together again. And I did, but only after I broke him. I could remake you as well. What wonderfully twisted thoughts must churn in the mind such as yours. But I'm more inclined to use you for parts. Yeah, you couldn't handle my parts, buddy. 
All right, let's get everybody in here. I expect company to come running. Yep, there we go. I could shoot him myself, or I can make it easier for everybody. Eh, yeah, screw it. I'll just pop one of these to make it even easier. Yeah, with four of us on the job, it's really not even worth it. He's dead before Alexander even gets a turn. Could really use that third action point at some point. Is that tied to agility or something? Yep, more company. Again, shotgun putting in work. Ooh, a ley line. This supercharges abilities. Uh, let's see here. Decrease target's armor by one. Ow. Just gonna step around the corner, shoot him in the face. Probably dangerous to use a shotgun with these two guys standing right in front of him. There we go. And you've got your heal. Excellent work. That's the end of the area, but we can still examine this thing on the way out. The tri-vid player holds a collection of personal diaries. Some of the video files are missing. Insert and play Tridio 1. Got some cutout chips in last week. Tried them out on the patient with a violent flashback, hoping it would at least mellow them out some. It was like night and day. Once the chip was installed, all their psychotic break triggers were, were blocked. Miss Yuskin has gone four days without attacking the staff or herself. Tridio 3. In today's interview, Mrs. Yuskin told me she hated her legs, said they were stumpy, unattractive. I haven't done a transplant in years, but I also offered to give her new legs. Her face lit up like, like it was Christmas. At least her cutout can block out the surgery and painful recovery process. I put an auger to the put in an auger to the organ organ grinders to send me anything leggy. Maybe I'll get some elf legs in and see how she likes them. Fuck. Tridio six. I've been walking to the organ grinders downtown and there was some kind of event happening at Mega Media. They had a puppet there from Maria Mercurial's latest with a person that pers Persona Fix chip installed, making her an exact doppelganger. They were just using her to hawk some Sin Sense release through a Mercurial live show, but it gave me an idea. The cutouts, the body modifications, and my healthy supply of patients. I'm perfectly set to be a Bunraku fixer. If I can supply find a supplier for pers Persona Fix chips, I can sell first full service Bunraku, even program the behavior trees. I think Benraku might mean body double, I'm not totally sure on that. Found a buyer for the first Benraku. A man in the Barrens offered me 20000 for the female troll I've been modifying. He likes them big, he says. All that's left is to arrange delivery. He says he can put me in touch with some more buyers if I'll accommodate special orders. These morons' lives are over already. The least I can do is line my pockets. Oh, this is a... This is an orgy of evidence. This guy's going away forever. By all means, come. You prove yourself to find special. I can find a hundred uses for one such as you. Yep. By all means, wait around for me to show up. You will not like what happens next. Before you is a medical lab turned torture chamber. The smell of old blood and decayed flesh permeates the room. Gory stains speak of the body's fluid spilled without regard for well-being or hygiene. There are bodies, perhaps former patients, trapped in hideous machines and during horrific experiments. The subjects you can see all appear dead, and any that aren't must wish they were. 
You've chased Holmes to his lair. Just as his face feels an ugly soul, so is his safe haven, it would seem. Holmes. Silas. The Emerald City Ripper. The elf is a monster beyond compare. It's time to end this. Alright. Built this up for a finale here, but there's no way the game's going to end this early, so I'm curious to see where it goes from here. I'm going to pop us a quick save, if you don't mind. And while I've got the karma to spend, might as well throw some extra points into Pistol. Unlock Deadeye. Thank you. And I can put one more point into Quickness. Great. Another intercom crackles at your elbow. One solid blow would offer a few moments of blessed silence, but there's also a rare chance to get a word in from the good doctor, who greets you with his more of his chittering personality. You are a persistent one. A fine specimen indeed. How much longer are you going to hide, Doc? Hide? Nothing of the sort. It's simply an observation. What I have next in store should prove most illuminating. Pietzel, subdue them. Hired mage, surgeon... What the fuck is Pietzel? Oh, fuck. That's Pietzel. Okay, well let's keep our mage way the hell back from that. Jesse can come right up here. Next to the good cover. And Alex can stay way the hell back. Actually, there's some ley lines over here we can make use of. Look at that thing. Oh, he can, he can hit two of us at once. Okay. We gotta play this smart. We don't want him getting stronger, so that's definitely somebody to take out. Mm. Okay. Head over here. Kill that guy. That was a really good shot, actually. You need to summon something to kill him. Oh, there was a blood stain there I could have used. Let's fight a monster with a monster if we can. Um, I guess you can only have one spirit up at a time. Might as well just reload the gun. Jesse Blue, still in the area. Let's just cap the surgeon. Shift over here. And Alexander can take some cover. And... Target gains armor. Why not? That's a free spell. Armor stripped. Damn, this guy hits hard. Single target, one bullet increases damage. Doesn't increase the crit chance though, unfortunately. Damn, I'm hitting hard with this gun. Line of sight is blocked. Eh, let's just shift over. Is there any chance at all you can give her haste? Well, yes, you can. More shotgun, the better. Did not escape, thankfully. Not doing a whole lot of damage per attack, but at least there's enough of them that it adds up. Oh, he killed it. Is that the doctor? Yeah, that's Dr. Holmes. Um, can we switch off, maybe? Yeah, that's better.
He's got a lot of health. Holy shit. Let's, uh... Can you kill him? Damn it, no you can't. Alright. Just make sure- oh, god damn it, so close. We'll get one. Uh, swap the shotgun out. Yeah, that's all defeated. Now Holmes is going down. Presumably. Ooh, acid is not good. Uh, tell you what, let's just deck this guy a bit so we can all hit him better. Uh, Shannon can take some cover. Continue shooting him. Jesse does not have line of sight right now, but that's an easy fix. Oh. Gonna need your healing me- oh, damn it. 24 health to cast if I cast it now, and I'd rather not do that. Oh no, sorry, that was, that was haste. I can still cast heal wound. And decrease target armor. Thank you. He did not escape. This is pretty gross, but it's working. And it's reducing his AP so he can't even hit he can't even fight back. That'll do it. Holmes drops to the ground, light in his eyes fading fast, but something keeps his shriveled husk of his soul stuck to the mortal coil for a few minutes more. This is a place of broken things. I remake them. She, she asked me to remake her. He manages one more laugh, his glazed eyes rolling toward the workbench across the way. She was playing both of us. You now have an extra action point. That's exactly what I was looking for. With a final bloody whimper, the Emerald Sea Ripper breathes, breathes his last. Okay, we got a whole bunch of crap here we can examine. This gross ass room where Piazza was being made. Bunch of surgical suites, a locked door, bunch of stuff in tubes, and this thing. Home to the workbench, falls somewhere between a coroner slab and a torture device. Decorated in the many colors of death, littered with the instruments of the trade. To one side, a leather-bound journal stuffed with uneven pages. To the other is a post-sec. Pock-sec. It, pocket secretary. That's what it is. Its small screen still glowing. Beneath the bench is a rolled sheet of papers held together with tight length of surgical tubing. Investigate the workspace. The bench is played, uh, host to numerous bodies. Includes restraints, skeletal traction mechanisms. At this table, Holmes dismembered bodies or put them back together. Been used recently. The journal has a few intelligible entries. Stuffed in the last few pages is a copy of a disinterment order from a local cemetery with the grave occupant marked as Melinda Watts. Huh. That was Sam's mother and Jessica's... No, Sam and Jessica's mother. Jessica mentioned she was being reinterred. Didn't say why. Pocket secretary. Home is still logged in. Is a hospital report from a donor program. It lists organs beside the names and medical of the recipients. Your eye catches Sam Watts' name beside the entry for liver. Also on the list are the Ripper's other known victims, along with several others who may have shared in the same fate. There's still a large sum of new yen which can be transferred to your account, so money, money. Roll sheet of paper. You find a diagram of the human female form rendered to an impressive level of detail. It's the blueprint for making Holmes' his very own monster. So, somebody was collecting all the organs that were uh, being taken out of Sam's mother to use as donor organs for other people. And somebody's been collecting them to, I guess, put back into Sam's mother before it's interred? 
His chips slot is still fresh, the open wound pink and wet and lurid. His voice drips in window, but his eyes say nobody's home. Well, hello there. Did you come to play? Oh, God. These people are like brain-overwritten sex slaves. Are you okay? How long have you been here? Of course we're okay. We're ready for a little party. You want to have a little party play with us? By her name? She's assembled in a standard config. Face of a schoolgirl, body of a stripper. You need some thick beer goggles to miss the work she's had done. I'm guessing, betting we can't act. Yeah, Papa Sears blank. We, we can't fix these people, unfortunately. Pick the Persona Fix Chip Wiper. Can we wipe these chips, get these people back to normal? Erase Holmes' programming. His eyes focus and his hand raises slowly to touch his head wound. The fingers come away wet and sticky. Panic touches the corners of his mouth. He surveys the room. First you, then the girl, then down to his own body, which is no longer his. What did he do? Where am I? He begins weeping, his body racked in great, inconsolable, heaving sobs. Can I fix them both, or just him? I assume it just it happened to both of them. I'm sure Shipwreck wasn't going to leave them in that state. And we got cells. This place is creepy as shit. As you approach the exit, you realize Shannon lingers quite a few steps behind. Looking back, you see that she is half turned, looking pensively towards the horror show of Holmes's lab. Finally, feeling your eyes on her, she raises you, sorry, faces you and raises her head in a proud, almost defiant manner. You have done much good here tonight. We have removed two vile creatures from this world, and so ended a growing shadow they cast upon the city. Our paths crossed and joined, and then we did this thing together, but here our paths must divide. I could show you to help with what's coming, and I could show you to help with what I must do next. A distant cry of pain echoes from somewhere above, and the young shaman pauses to listen to the tortured sound. There is still more work to be done for both of us. But what, what, but what must be done differs for each of us. I came here to find justice for my brother, and that has been done. His spirit can now find rest. But there are other victims of the Ripper, both alive and dead, who still struggle to be at peace. Many of them are here in this place, filling the halls with their torment. I cannot leave them behind. But the spirits have something else in store for you. A different path. You must finish what you've begun. You must confront the first evil that fostered the one we did, we've just endured. Oh, I can respect that. Thank you for everything. Because of you, my brother's killer met with justice and justice of the only sort such as a man as Holmes deserved. Death. You know Holmes wasn't actually the vic the villain here, right? It was Silas. Holmes is the guy that Silas killed and stole his identity. Yeah, fuck it. I will now set the task of healing those he left behind. For every man we face here, there are a dozen innocent souls crying out in need. Spirits of the Departed will also need help in passing, or I fear they may become like those we have met in the hangar. They all deserve my help. You know, Lone Star is going to be here pretty soon. When they enter that room back there, they will have no thoughts other than those of promotion. With the Ripper in hand, my brother will be forgotten along with all the other victims, but so too will I. They will not be a problem. Whether that's true or not, Shannon's confidence and presence seem capable of making it true. Good luck to you, Slip. I hope you can find the same justice for your friend that I found for my brother. I appreciate that, and good luck to you. Alright. That's one chapter of the story closed. The ride back to the Seamstress Union is quiet compared to the pandemonium left behind at Mercy Metro Hospital. Lone Star squad cars pass you on the road, sirens blurring. No doubt in response to the aftermath of your showdown with the late Dr. Henry Holmes, the Emerald City Ripper, the man who violently repossessed the internal organs of Sam Jessica's mother, Melinda Watts. And although the killer is dead and his grip on the city is broken, it's clear he wasn't working alone. There are loose ends aching to be tied. The taxi turns onto Redmond Way, cruising past now familiar landmarks until the Seamstress Union, in all its decadent seat and glory, materializes between swipes of the over overworked wiper wi what windshield wipers. Fuck. <laughs> Time to evaluate your next move. Overworked windshield wipers. That's a. The union is quiet this afternoon. Salarymen and wage slaves haven't migrated from nearby offices and suburbs to dabble in the exotic yet. What's up, Johnny? Johnny Queen is talking with Cherry Bomb and Mrs. Kubota when you walk up. We were just talking about you, Slip. And the Emerald City Ripper. I rock that you tracked the serial killer to a mental hospital. Johnny Queen told us where you were going, oh man. We have been waiting for you to return. I thought you knew better than that, Johnny. Johnny frowns and nods. 
You're right, I should have kept my mouth shut. I should know better. Just that we have a personal stake in the Ripper murders. We each have our reasons for wanting the killer found. Sam was a regular here and his loss has been felt, regardless of his shortcomings. The whole sprawl has been shaken by these killings as well, the randomness of them. No one knows that they will be next or what the killer might take from them. I admit that the killings have hampered business as well. I'm sorry, but it's true. It does not help that Sam's body was found down the street from here. Even our regular customers have been loath to venture out with a killer on the loose. A tell us, Ome. Did you find the person responsible for the Ripper murders? The person responsible? No. The killer? Yes. I don't understand. Are you saying the killer wasn't responsible for his own actions? This sounds more complicated than I suspected. How best to phrase this? The head of the asylum was killing specific people to harvest specific body parts. All the transplanted organs came from the same donor, Melinda Watts, Sam's mother. It looked like he was putting her back together. The three are silent as the news sinks in. Sam had an organ transplanted from his mother, and the Ripper killed Sam and all the people just reassemble Sam's mother? That's about the size of it, yeah. I sense a cause and effect in this. Coyote and Jake Armitage just left here to attend Sam's funeral. I am told there will be a reinterment ceremony for his mother as well. Sounds like she'll be buried with all her missing body parts. Think her sister Jessica has something to do with it? Hang on, I saw Sam's sister when she was here the other day. She was as corpus as they come, but I can't imagine a lady like that behind a series of murders. There's gotta be something else going on. It is clear that you must go to the funeral and talk with Jessica Watts, Slip. And pay my respects to Sam, of course. Before you go, there is one thing you do not tell us, Slip. Where is the Emerald City Ripper now? Well, he isn't in heaven, I'm sure of that. Hi, that is good. Okay, so I could go straight to the uh, to the funeral. I am going to take a quick second to check if there's any new gear downstairs. I doubt there is, but you never know. And if I'm wrong, I'll just cut the footage. Okie doke. Now we're off to a funeral. Option, I'll give some of the data. Why don't we give the Mercy mental data? Can I do that here? Oh yeah, I found this list in the data store at Mercy Mental. This is unspeakable. Murder was not for the person selling patients as Benraku slaves? Thank you for giving this to me. I will contact some artists to liberate the pool of thrills from the buyers in this list. You have done much good here today. The Hands Ripper was more of a monster than anyone could have known. Good luck, Mrs. Kubota. Okay, so we got some, some karma for that. They're going to track down the, uh, the slaves from that. And we got some karma, or, yeah, some karma to spend here. Double tap is a nice thing to have. Holy shit. And then chain shot. Alright. Um, yeah, we'll put it into range combat and then we'll have to save up the rest of the points to get to that double shot. But yeah, okay. Now let's go to the funeral. <laughs> 